them these days as a key solution to climate change. However, the carbon credit market is very, very inefficient today because it's very difficult to verify the quality of carbon credit. Around the world, which I am not opposed to the central banking system. But the idea, and I, I think these people literally looked at this、uh, more than a decade ago and said, oh, look at those kids that are playing with this Satoshi white paper. And isn't that fun? It's kind of like a, it's kind of like gaming, right? Virtual gaming. It's virtual money. It's never going to go anywhere. And oops, then it started gaining some traction. Balance sheets of the banks, virtually none of them are sitting on enough cash to back demand deposits that can be withdrawn in the, at the speed of. Minutes now. So here's the thing: crypto is a technology. My view is it should be it should be embraced to the extent it makes everything better. Re,、uh, reviewed by the agencies on their individual merits, and then all of a sudden, press leaks are confirming that the Fed and the OCC applicants were asked to withdraw at the same time. Come on. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. If you got some bags, walk to the party. Welcome back to some more Moon O'clock News. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra foolishness. Shout out to Lady Sub. Appreciate you stopping by, stuffing some bags. Go ahead, throw on those moon suits, those pilot shades. Buckle up. Is the futures extra, extra bullish? Full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 1.22 trillion, up about three and a half percent in the past 24 hours. We got XRP here in the number six spot, right around 38 and a half cents, up about 2.3 in the past 24. Stellar, right around 0.088, up about 2.2 in the past 24. We got BTC 27,643 ETH, right around 18 hundo. We got Flare Networks in the number 125 spot, right at three cents, up about five percent. And we got Songbird at 0.0083, up about 1.8 percent in the past 24. Ripple says the sky's the limit. VP of Corporate Strategy Operations Emmy Wong explains the vast potential of utility-based NFTs, especially when it comes to fighting climate change. How can NFTs be used for good? Hi, I'm Emmy Oshikawa. This is Crypto in a Minute. So there is an increasing shift towards more utility-driven use cases for NFTs. One use case I'm particularly excited about is the tokenization of carbon credits. Carbon credits are gaining a lot of momentum these days as a key solution to climate change. However, the carbon credit market is very, very inefficient today because it's very difficult to verify the quality of carbon credits. By tokenizing carbon credit as an NFT, we can track. The source of carbon reduction, and also differentiate the quality of different carbon credits、uh, projects, and this will ultimately lead to a more efficient carbon credit market.、Uh, this is one of many many ways of how NFTs can be used for greater good, and the sky is the limit. The sky is not. The sky is not the limit. As we're going to infinity. And beyond, <laughs> Tom Emmer. If you want to assume unelected bureaucrats are going to do the things you expect them to do, you do that at your own risk. This administration is already moving in the direction of a CBDC, and the events of this week have only made that more clear. This is, uh, uh, I find, I think, I like this one. Here we go.、Um, the Fed is clearly. I'm just reading this. Okay. <laughs> The Fed has clearly indicated that a decision to issue a CBDC would be a decision for Congress, and that it has no intention of issuing a CBDC without authorization from Congress. Therefore, why do we need a bill to tell the Fed to do something? To, to tell, I'm sorry, to tell the Fed to not do something it was never planning on doing. Hmm. It was never planning on doing. Whoever sent that in, I, I really appreciate it, and I understand their logic. But they are assuming that there are good actors in this space, and that what they are hearing from these unelected bureaucrats who are saying there's nothing to see here, it's all good. We need to have、uh, permission. It's interesting. The Federal Reserve issued uh, some uh, documents recently that my staff was provided.、Uh, just showed up at one of their、uh, events, and they have a, a, a slide, I would say, or a, in this deck. 
where it lists what the Federal Reserve is responsible for. It's responsible for uh, the money supply. It's responsible for the two-tier uh, rails of the banking system, uh, the overnight window, those types of things that we're used to, right? You know what the bullet point was at the bottom? Central bank digital currency. They're putting it out in their own materials today, and they have no authority. They have not been directed by Congress to do a thing. Let's understand that what they say is not necessarily what they're doing. You are dealing with central bankers around the world, which I am not opposed to the central banking system. But the idea, and I, I think these people literally looked at this uh, more than a decade ago and said, oh, look at those kids that are playing with this Satoshi white paper. And isn't that fun? It's kind of like a, it's kind of like gaming, right? Virtual gaming. It's virtual money. It's never going to go anywhere. And oops, then it started gaining some traction because people don't trust the way our money supply has been handled. They don't trust our monetary policies. They're worried about what our government is failing to do to ensure stability and a prosperous future. So what do they do? It starts to grow. And what do these bureaucrats do? They go, and by the way, bureaucrats with their partners in the private sector who are using the existing two-tier uh, banking system and want to protect it because that's their market share. They went, well, now we got to kill it. And so they started taking actions to try and knock this train off the tracks and they found out much what the Chinese found out. By the way, uh, Chinese, you can't mind, they haven't been able to shut it all down. If they can't shut it down, nobody's gonna shut it down. So they realized at some point, I can't, one, it's here and it's not going away. Two, I can't shut it down, so guess what I'm gonna do now? I'm going to swallow it up and make it part of what we run because then we will control it. Uh, that's the innocent way of looking at it. The not so innocent way of looking at it is when people say to me, yeah, I know what you keep saying about the uh, digital yuan and how they use that to control the population. They turn your card on, they turn your card off. Uh, you have the outbreak in Wuhan. You can't pay for a hotel room. You can't buy transportation out of there. In fact, they will tell you when you can go to the grocery store because they'll turn on your, uh, your card. Tom Emmer, there's a new day coming. Don't fall for the media trickery. Load up on those utility coins. It's no wonder the SEC wants those bags back. Payment infrastructure news. This is how ISO 20022 migration in Europe. Target 2 will proceed this weekend and next Monday. Tomorrow and Sunday, the banks will move their positions into the ECB's new system and check the correct booking on Monday morning. Things will get exciting because then the first live transactions will be carried out throughout the day. Checks are made to ensure that all payments with the correct information reach the correct recipients. Only in the course of Monday will it be possible to determine whether the migration has run without errors. James Rule XRP shaking my head. So all the latest news about crypto, banks, the feds, etc. is causing a Streisand effect. I'm telling the world that the safest bet is to buy crypto, gold, silver, BYOB. Be your own bank. Throw it onto your own self-custody, cold storage wallet. Not your keys. Not your cryptos. The scent wallet now. Let there be free shipping. Get your biometric wallet without delivery fees all over the USA. BYOB. Bring your own bags. Be your own bank. Watcher Guru says, Justin, 186 banks found to have similar vulnerabilities as Silicon Valley Bank. Wall Street Journal reports, banks aren't safe. John Deaton, Contagion, Silvergate, SVB, Signature, First Republic, Credit Suzy, 186 similar banks. Might as well be 1A7. In a matter of days, the Fed erased half of the $300 billion of the QT implemented during the last year. I believe this will be XRP's moment when history's written. The Fed instant real-time payment system going live in July. Zero acknowledgement that the speed settlement will increase bank run risk inherently. They don't get it. Balance sheets of the banks, virtually none of them are sitting on enough cash to back demand deposits that can be withdrawn in the, at the speed of minutes now. So here's the thing. It used to be you, you, have to, you had to go to a bank branch and fill out a paper form to make a bank withdrawal. Now you can do it on your phone. What's interesting is that the bank regulators have for a long time hated the most tech forward banks. They like <laughs> the concept that everything has to be analog because it slows everything down. Just yesterday, the Fed confirmed that FedNow, which is the new payment system that is ultimately going to replace yeah. FedWire, is coming online in July. And it's a 24-7, 365 system. And there was a lot of information in the press release about the testing requirements that the banks that are going to be rolling it out in July will have to comply with. There was zero acknowledgement 
that the speed of money movement is going to increase inherently when you get a real-time system. So we were talking about how long it takes for you to put the payment instruction in, analog versus online banking or API. But now there's also speed up of settlement once the instruction is received by the bank. And that is going to be real time. Now, Fed now only limits you to $100,000 at a time, but $100,000 at a time equals a, equals increased bank run risk inherently. And I was floored that the Fed said nothing in that press release about requiring the banks that are going to be offering Fed now to hold more liquidity. It means they don't get it yet. Don't wait for the last dominoes to fall. Secure your private keys. While you still have some time, XRP hidden in plain sight, faster, cheaper, green money, low cost, scalable, eco friendly. It's also decentralized, deflationary currency, XRP ledger running flawlessly since 2012 with the robust technology of the start of DeFi innovation. The first decentralized exchange, tokenized assets, and more is Satoshi's true vision. In my opinion, XRP is one of the best forms digital money and financial technologies at the moment. It's really efficient. Anyone can use it easily. And there's hundreds of projects building on top of the tech for many different use cases to solve real world problems. No more middlemans snatching up those fees. XRP is a truly global currency ideally suited to enable today's growing digital economy 24-7, 365. Send money anywhere around the world. And nobody could stop it. Blockchain backer says we planned this for years. A true banking crisis will hurt many. It's sad, but this is the way the system is built, has always been broken. This is always baked in. This is a moment we prepared for. Thesis will be tested. Crypto metals. Feels like it's time. So it begins. Nerd Nation Unbox. Crypto is a technology. In my view, it should be embraced, says the person who sued Ripple and hurt thousands of retail investors and then left work for the competition. But we got him on that blockchain trail. Lastly, there was a lot of money. People got very entrenched views about whether crypto is, should be embraced or rejected. Well, you know, crypto is a technology. My view is it should be it should be embraced to the extent it makes everything better. Um, some of the people who thought it should be embraced were like, well, it may not make regulation better, but we should just go ahead anyway. We all know XRP is good for everybody 24-7. No more middlemans. Faster, cheaper, eco-friendly. Good for the planet. Know what you hold. James will XRP in order to continue sending and receiving chats payments. From the 19th of June, 2023, payment users may have to make changes to the way they send and receive payments. Users will also need to adapt the new data requirements, which will also become mandatory from November 2024. And onwards, ISO 200 2022. Digital asset investor, I don't blame those breaking the law. We know exactly who and what they are. I blame those claiming to bring us to a new day while talking, tweeting, and writing letters. All the bad guys take action. Um, but ultimately, then it became clear. And in fact, actually, we had, thankfully, there's a sieve in Washington. We had insiders come forward and confirm to us the White House was involved. And it was pretty obvious that day of the uh, of the custodial re and, uh, denial because the White House and the Fed coordinated to release their press releases at exactly the same time. Now, here's the smoking gun. Everybody at the time was speculating, was there going to be another Operation Choke Point 2.0? As you, as you said, Nick, what we have is evidence in email because a reporter revealed to us what the reporter was told. And the reporter told us that they were told that within the last 48 hours that the all the Fed and OCC bank charter applicants had been asked to withdraw their applications or they would be voted down. Okay, so I knew <laughs> from the early stage that Operation Choke Point 2.0 was absolutely underway and absolutely coordinated. Again, the interesting question is, wait a minute, there are due process protections for applicants for bank charters. They are supposed to be re uh, reviewed by the agencies on their individual merits, re uh, reviewed by the agencies on their individual merits. And then all of a sudden, press leaks are confirming that the Fed and the OCC applicants were asked to withdraw at the same time. Come on. XRP choke point 2.0. They don't want you with those big utility bags, XRP, the superior technology, no upgrades needed. Revelers, attention revelers, the wait is over. Our first merch drop is finally here. Grab yourself a new t-shirt or key ring and start spring feeling fresh. More cool stuff coming. Revelers.com. Expector, you wanted to grab Expector land, but you put it off. You're forgiven, but there's no time. 
like the present, secure your future inside the Expector Metaverse. NFT Temple.io, have you seen the music artists already revealed to be minting with us? NFT Temple.io, check the post below. Another one be announced today. Stay tuned. Check out NFT Temple.io. Wanted to bring this to your attention here. We got two different XRP domain services here selling the same dot XRPs. As you can see here, XRP bags dot XRP with this owner. And then on the other one, we got XRP bags dot XRP with this owner, same domain, two different owners. So just be careful because you could pretty much purchase the same domain on both services. I will say this, that the first one here at XRP domain, they were a winner of the XRPL hackathon here. As you can see here, the XRP Web3 identity hackathon winner here. So just be careful out there. Two different domain services, but you can purchase the same dot XRPs. Agra Crypto XRP Weekly RSI. It is time. Chart says it all. The setup is ready for a breakout. With that being said, Bagman and Bag Ladies, if you know, you know, XRP hidden in plain sight, the standard. First, we had the Internet of Information. I welcome to the Internet of Value. Buckle up because it could get bumpy. But if you know what you hold, you're probably loading up while you still have some time because the trains left the station. Where will you be when those price glitches finally go live? We'll catch you up here at the tippy top. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more Moon O'Clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. We'll catch you up here on the spaceship for the moon party. BYOB. Bring your own bags. Be your own bank. Peace out, Crypto Ghost. And when we blow, ain't no told you souls. I'm a big ghost. I'm a big ghost. We hold the gold. I be super bullish like the barrel bull bull. My life boat full, ready for the big boom. Astronaut suit, headed for the moon. With my hodo gang crew, had the 2020 vision. Yeah, we all knew. Now we up in something brand new, new.